Hello guys, welcome to another Average Shaman video. Uh, disclaimer, it's going to be a bit of a quick one. And another disclaimer, uh, I have finally got my two set. And hopefully next week I will have my four, uh, which I've got some video ideas. But yeah, it's it's finally, it's finally fucking happened. That's all I can say about that. <laughs> But yeah, getting straight to the video. How to get the most out of your Enhancement Shaman in keys and in raids. And short answer to the question. No, what the fuck you doing? Uh, <laughs> yeah, right. So we're going to kick this off with builds, talents, Lego and gear. Right. Uh, no matter what anyone says, no matter what anybody says, guys, at the minute, gear is fucking not that important now there's some people that are going to be like well you know 270 compared to 250 the difference is yes there is but that's a massive difference that's it that's a 20 item level jump right so i'm on about you know the the couple of item levels like the like the, the five level item level gap or something like that. it doesn't matter the only thing that matters at the minute from my own experience is two set and four set seriously like i have been declined off 17 keys because i don't have a four set 17 keys guys pardon me like i mean come on uh it, it, it's one of them at the moment it is very unlucky like i haven't really pushed any keys beyond uh, an 18 at the minute because i just don't have my four set and i don't have the groups uh but I mean, I have been basically pugging most of mine groups. So, I mean, if you've got a pre-med, you could probably do that. We have the damage. It's absolutely fine. Uh, in terms of talents, you are... I mean, I've done so many videos on this, but basically, the, 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 this is the bog standard. Like, I mean, there is the... Uh, you probably can't see because of my chat window. I'm just going to knock them off for a minute. <coughs> Pardon me, bad cough there. But that's pretty much what you're going to be running. Your Lava Land, your Hot Hand, your Spirit Wolf, your Fire Nova, your Nature's Guardian, your Sunder, and your Elemental Spirits. That's pretty much it. That, that's the be all and end all. Like, I've done so many videos at the minute, and I've had so many in depth conversations with people when people say, Oh, what about Hailstorm? And I just think, Oh, you mental. Just run Fire Nova. You'll do more damage. Uh, you know, like, I'm, I'm probably going to get someone in the comments going, but I've done more damage with Hillstorm, and that's fine, that's fine. But personally, I do more damage with Fire Nova, and the shamans I've seen do more damage with Fire Nova. And I think, like, the, the top shamans on my realm at the minute, Twisted Never, run Fire Nova. So, e either way. But in terms of Legos, uh, Primal Lava Actuators, guys. Primal Lava Actuators. You're going to be spreading that, that's pretty much it. And the gear, as I said, is it's a bit inconsequential. Like, I'm 270 geared. I've got my two-set bonus. I do have... I did get lucky. And I've got my chest waiting for the catalyst next week. And slash or something good in my... Uh, in my vault. Either way, I should be getting my four set. So you want to be focusing on getting your two set and your four set. Do normals, do LFR, it's a pain in the ass, guys. And you're probably thinking, but I've got a 270 chest, why would I replace that with a, a 246 chest? It's because it gives you the set bonus, and the set bonuses are dirty. Uh, you know, even in M+, plus my damage, it doesn't, like, the two set really doesn't impact AoE that much, but you can't ignore it, because it does it, it does do damage. It doesn't, it's passive damage that you don't really have to do anything apart from your normal rotation and your four set is your spirits your spirit wolves your feral spirits are having a 20 percent chance to trigger stormbringer uh, which resets your storm strike passive damage passive damage we don't have to do anything you don't even have to use any abilities to get it you just get it from your rotation and you're obviously your spirit wolves now that there is there is like there is some arguments there like you know, when you get four set, would you go uh, wolf break? Would you go uh, what's it called now? Uh, what's it? Oh, I've totally witch doctor's wolf bones, and I would say do a couple of mythics and judge it for you. Like on the PTR, I was doing that and I got some really good things, but like I don't think I properly tested 
uh, Lava Lash, the Lava Lash build properly in PTR. So I will probably still run Lava Lash build because you just passively, you, you, your two set and your four set works passively. So that's the only way I'm going to, I'm going to do that. <coughs> Apart from that, moving on to my next topic of conversation is how to get the best out of your enhancement shaman in keys. Uh, this is mainly goes with keys, but similar to raids. Your tanks know what they're doing. In raids, you know when the tank's going to move a certain boss to a certain position because they should be telling you. And as a guild or a raid group, you should really know what the tank's doing, even though you don't really have to know know what they're doing, like what what cooldowns they're doing and, and all that bollocks. You don't you don't really need to know that. But in keys and in raids, know when your tank's going to move because there's no point popping an ability that you have to be stationary, i.e. the Night Fae ability in raids. There's no point popping it if the tank's going to move the boss in 20 seconds because you're not... Well, in about 5 seconds because you're not going to get the best out of the, the thing. But as Necro, it doesn't really impact you that much, but know when the tank's doing a big pull. Because if he's only doing small pulls, that hinders our AoE. It hinders our output DPS. Like... Like I've had people like in a in a mist pull small and my damage is okay and then they've pulled like really big in a, a necrotic <coughs> pardon me again or even a mists and my damage has been like 30k, 40k in that little thing. And people have been going, Whoa, where's this enhancement shaman DPS come from? It's just like, well, we kinda need the big tasty pulls. So Know the tanks. If you do know a pre-made tank, butter them up a little bit. Get them to do a little bit of a tasty pull. If you can, and if they have the damage mitigation, certain weeks are just going to be a bit unviable to do massive pulls because of uh, necrotic and grievous and, and all that. Blah, blah, blah. But know when they're going to move and, you know, communicate with them. Especially if it's pre-made, guys, and you're on Discord. Tell your tank to stay fucking still. <laughs> or, or something like that, you, you know, communicate with them, know the routes, know, you know, know where they're going, know what they're pulling, because, you know, if in, especially in Necrotic, you want to be, you know, especially if they do that tasty pull at the start, you want to be funneling down the Stitch Fiend, the big, big thing that does, like, the, the meat shields and can absolutely munch on your tank, you've got to, you, you know, I hope all of you are funnel targeting that monstrosity and then AoEing outside of it with interrupting uh, them doctors that, that, that can CC people. Tremor totem, no, not tremor totem, capacity totem, that shit, guys. So, know the routes, know what the tanks move in, and honestly, your damage will improve because then you can, you know, it leads on to it. My next point is cooldown usage. <clears throat> now, being the build that we are, we don't really have many cooldowns apart from Elemental Wolves, which is one minute, uh, one minute three. Uh, apart from that, we we don't really have any cooldowns. Like I don't like the build I've got. The only cooldown I've got to really focus on is my one minute thirty with my overcharged anima, which is ridiculous, ridiculous. I mean, you know, I've had people asking me why you're playing with this trinket. There's better trinkets, and there are better trinkets. But at the minute, I am loving this the way it plays. Because I use it with Feral Wolves. Oh, Feral Spirits is 1 minute 5, sorry. So it, it, it can sync up pretty much every third usage properly. Or every, yeah, every third with, with how it works out or whatever. But, you know, that, that's, that's pretty much it. That's the only cooldown I'm going to use. I mean, I've got Sundering, you know. Use your cooldowns to help the group as well. Yeah. I mean, there's not really much because it's not like we have like major three minute cooldowns anymore. We we're not really using ascendance. We've moved away from that. So, you know, I pop everything when it's off cooldown. Like unless like I know, say if you're on like Treadlover, right at the end of Mists, uh, and there's that pack at the right at the end before Treadlover, and you've done a double pull. I wouldn't really use my wolves there because I think well, I'm gonna need that on the boss. So. You know, r r rather judge it. You know, if the damage is absolutely crap, then I would pop it because I would see, well, I'm, we're, as a group, we're wasting more time on this pack than we would on the boss because people are probably saving the cooldowns on the boss. So maybe in a pre-med or in a pug group, sometimes I would judge that and be like, well, I'm going to use a cooldown here to help the group. But if the damage is fine, then save your bloody cooldowns, guys. Wait, wait for the boss. <laughs> then use it. Apologies for coughing. So, I mean, 
cooldown usage is is key, but really it's on cooldown because your only cooldown in in this build is your wolves. Uh, so yeah, I mean, uh, apart from spamming out bloody lava lash on every occasion, like with this build, guys, lava lash is your top priority. Even if you storm strike, because uh, you get your stormbringer procs. I mean, don't get me wrong, if you've got your four set, then yeah, spam that out because it helps out your, your normal thing. But even still with this build, I would say Lava Lash is king. If it's off cooldown and you're not using it, that is wasted DPS. Because I have had like 50k crits off one Lava Lash. That, that, that's like five casts of Storm Strike, maybe. Like even with a crit, I mean, come on, are you mental? Use Lava Lash off cooldown, people. And my last, my next point and my final one is relics. Don't get the haste, guys. I know haste is tempting, right? And even if you're running the Doom Winds build, getting that more haste is tasty, you know, because then you can get up to like 200 fucking 300% haste, depending on what your haste already is and, <laughs> and whatnot. But cool down, guys. Cool down relic. It's ugh, or whatever it is fucking gold you guys know what i mean uh you want to get that because it takes everything off cooldown it helps your primordial wave which is is good it helps your wolves a little bit it helps your trinkets it, it helps everything and most importantly once you've just killed it and you funnel damage that down and if you've got a big aoe pack mate guys fire nova off cooldown for three seconds i add it every three seconds it's normally a 12 second cooldown turn that into a free in one aoe window i ended it with 45k dps in a necrotic and i was able in that in in that pull to get six fire novas off there's no amount of haste in the world that is going to match six fire novas going off it's not happening it's not i mean <sighs> You know what? I, ch I challenge you guys to, to find to find more more damage than that. I, I really do because I, I can't see it. And I've done it. I've done the uncapped AOE and I've done like the Doom Winds build. And it's good and it's tasty and it's very very big and you can be you can feel like a, a big big dick in a in a Mythic Plus. But Fire Nova is just oh, it's so good. Uh yeah, I'm probably man boy you know, but I'm probably like yeah, Fire Nova, but. But yeah, I mean, I hope, I hope, I hope that helps you. That's all the tips and tricks that I can offer. Apart from that, look at wild logs, guys. Look at wild logs. Uh, check the one percenters. Check the ten percenters. The five percenters. The fifty percenters, and compare. You know, like you'd be surprised on, on the differences between a one percenter and a ten percenter. And it's it's not that much. You know, the casts usually on Lava Lash are slightly higher because every every cooldown they're going Lava Lash, Lava Lash, Lava 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 Lash. Uh, so I mean, yeah, and they know the route, so they, they they've got really good things. They're probably ticking everything that that I've pretty much said here. So yeah, that is pretty much it, guys. I mean, I, there's not much really going on in the background because I can't I can't be bothered doing anything just to make it interesting. And we've only been here for about 13 or so minutes. So, <clears throat> hope you found the, the, the video interesting. Hope you like it. Uh, a comment and a cheeky like, guys, is is always very well appreciated. So is a cheeky subscription. Uh, at the minute of this video, I am on 180 subscribers, which is absolutely lovely. If you want more content, follow me, follow me. Leave your... I don't even know the rest of the... Yeah, that's going back to like a uh, Catholic primary school then when I'm like, yeah, busting out the hymns. Uh, that was a really embarrassing moment. And now it lives forever on YouTube. Lovely. But, but yeah, cheeky follow. I am on Twitch as well, guys. The link's on my Discord. Oh, the link is in my YouTube, so is my Discord. I'm trying to get that up and running. So, you know, even if you don't like the video, like it. It helps. It helps. Anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for your support. And I will catch you in the next video. Average Shaman. Out. Thank you.